internet friends, welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, Magic Brad here again for Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. And I've got Heather on again. I had her on earlier. And today we're going to be talking about relationships. So, Heather, you there? I am. Yes. Relationships. Yes. Now, what was the name of your program again for... It's called datingtriggers.com. That's the website. You can also go to heatherhavenwood.com forward slash Amazon. I have four books out and it's mainly geared towards men, how to communicate to women. However, like we were talking offline, the green room, that that it's completely be able to take that information and put it into business and career and um, sales. So that it, it's the same conversation. It's just that I geared the information niche towards men. See, that could be really, really powerful. I mean... You yeah. already know that because you're the one that teaches it, so you know. But uh, it, there's there's been so much, um, I, I shared with earlier, that the Internet has made it so easy to approach somebody online because there's no fear there. They can just kind of do it. And implementing that into business, if you can teach people how to create a real relationship, they can easily bring it into business. So can you share a little bit from like somewhat of a dating appro- uh, yeah. uh, point of view? Yeah, so a couple of things with the dating point of view. Just think about the I call the old days where you went to a bar <laughs> to maybe meet somebody or a restaurant. Crazy. Now it's like online Tinder and Match.com. But back then you would go into you know a bar and you'd look at and you look for and you'd kind of hang out with your friends and then you'd approach potentially or you'd get set up and approach and you would take it slow. It would be a slow process. You might meet. You might buy them a drink or you you know if you're the girl, you might just have a drink and, and you might stay safe with your friends. I mean, there's this massive process that happens as a human being moves from we don't know each other as strangers to marriage. I mean, there's a huge leap there, right? Having kids and sleeping together in marriage. Now, the sleeping together, some people obviously could be that night, but I'm talking building the relationship. There's actually a long term relationship. And in business, you want long term relationships, right? So inside that process, it's like, taking them to coffee, having the conversation, getting to know each other. Now it doesn't have to be forever long, right? You guys have moved things forward. Even with uh, what I talked to my, um, coaching, I have a coaching client right now. I talked about this. I'm like, when you're meeting with this new potential client, your number one focus with them in that meeting is just to connect and then get the next date get the next date, get the, that's it. That's it. That's it. And he's like, well, shouldn't I tell Mike? No connect and then get the next date. And that really is the process of relationships, right? You have one date and then your whole job is to get the next date. Right. So, so and then you just keep going. Excuse me for interrupting, but I just had this idea. Sometimes I get these things that download. Do you do any kind of, do you do matchmaking? I don't. I don't. See, the, here's an interesting idea. Cause I know that you do some business stuff too. So what if you teach men how to communicate to women and the women are the entrepreneurs? It would be nice to be able to meet a woman entrepreneur because really the world is shifting. It's turning around. Men used to be the breadwinners. Now women are kicking it. No, absolutely. I think and that's why I'm in business because a lot of men come to me and go, I'm confused. Like, you know, the world of the alpha and the feminine has kind of flip flopped yep. a little bit. And so there's a little bit of a, an identity gap, an identity loss. And so I work with them on how to have coworkers as powerful women as coworkers or how to, uh, they have a boss who's a powerful woman, or if they have someone who's, um, you know, working underneath them, that's powerful, but how do they, how do they handle that? And of course, how do you date a powerful woman? There's like all these different pieces of the pie that, um, it's only in the last five, six decades, I mean, really 10 years that it's really altered big time. See, and it, there's a lot of something like that for, like I said, you got successful, powerful alpha female <laughs> business yeah. people 
and then men that don't know how to talk to them because they're feeling threatened and you can teach them how to do that and you could be like a matchmaking agency for executives that or, or has been executives men that are no longer executives because they're confused <laughs> and don't know how this works <laughs> has been executives yeah i mean it's still definitely in the game of business still very much male dominated um and women have started to learn how to assimilate themselves in that but as far as men you know, I hear you all the time and I tell I mainly work with men over the age of 40. And I say that because usually, again, generalizing that they probably may, may or may not be divorced, but it, we're around age 40 and above, they have what I call assets. When you're 21 and you're like hanging out and you meet some chick, right? You might have nothing in the bank, you know, but when you're 40, you might have a house or houses, or you might have children, you have assets and career. You have like things to deal with and the relationship is way more uh, has more weight to it you know you can have you can mate or date date a person that will take you to this you know what they call gold digger and take you down right or you want to find someone that will what i call empower you as a man and then you empower them as a female that's what you ultimately want the challenge with that nowadays is because the the dynamics have changed so much men don't know how to attract that and mm -hmm. then communicate to that or, and the other way I say it, how to want to sift and sort that, right? Because men, and, and I love you guys, I mean, I'm being dishonest, is that when they look at a woman, they see nice butt, nice boobs, right? Nice, she looks hot. That's their automatic in their brain. They're not thinking, will she make a good partner, you know, or right. will she empower me? These are not thoughts that come up, you know, I'm attracted to her or I'm not. So um, I want them to think a little further down the road so that they know that they're getting someone in their life that's going to empower them. Well, that's, a, that's very interesting how this came together, this, this idea of, uh, men to access this, the powerful woman. It's because because yeah. the world is changing that way. It's You no longer need to be able to lift something heavy because you can right. do stuff with technology and women are kicking it. So yeah. I don't want to take too much time for this, but I appreciate you taking the time on this note of relationships. And if you could, uh, again, repeat how do they get a hold of you and that the programs and stuff so they can... Uh, yeah, thank you so much. You can check me out at heatherhavenwood.com, but if you're really interested in specifically in the dating side, that's datingtriggers.com. Dating triggers. That's a good one. Thank you. <laughs> okay, peace, love, and happiness, Heather. Thank you for taking the time again, and I'm going to sign this one off. Put it in the can, as they say. And uh, this is Magic Brad signing off with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. Be well. <laughs>